as you can tell, there's a lot going on today, so I gotta go try and find a quiet spot to do this video. And let me go find a quiet spot. Morning. So yes, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna try and work through the construction noise over there. Our land clearing project is continuing, hopefully being finalized today over there so I can get in there and start some seeding. Today I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about army worms. I'm gonna to talk to you about grubs. I'll talk to you a little bit about fertilizing and then I'll give you a couple updates on both of the seeding projects, the front and the back. I'll show you the land clearing, maybe even pop up to the garden. So first of all, in the description below, I always put a link to a web page, and I list all these products on that web page. So if you need the granular killer, the, the hose end bottle killer I'm talking about, uh, fertilizers, they'll all be there. Next, also on that page will be a link to two things. One is the lawn guides. There's three websites, guys. There's a Zoysia, Bermuda, and Cool Season website. There's no app, there's no sign up, we don't want your information, there's calendars, there's products links, and there's detailed explanations about how to handle all these problems. Also, while you're there, sign up for our email list. It's not an email marketing list. What this email list does is when this idiot puts out a video, it sends out a email that says, hey, Doc's put out a new video or blog link or whatever, and that's it, that's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. Twice a year I use it and I'll send out if there's a big sale or something, I'll let you know, but that's it. It's not like you're gonna get signed up for a marketing list. Okay, so let's talk about the problem that we're all about to have, most of us, and that is uh, army worms. It's this time of year, it's that late summer where they start to move in. I'll talk about grubs and I'll talk about fertilizing, but army worms first. Army worms. Army worms don't kill your grass, they just eat your grass. They're on top. They hide in the thatch layer when it's hot, and then they come out when it starts to cool off and they eat your grass. They're called army worms because they move across your lawn like an army. So if you're starting to see some weak areas, here's what you do. I've done this in many videos before. Take a five gallon bucket, fill it up with water, squirt some Dawn in it, and go to an area and just flood that one spot. In about 10 to 15 seconds, you'll see army worms start to come up. You need to treat. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. But if you don't find them there, check a couple of spots and see if you got them around it too. Like I said, they hide in the thatch layer when it's hot and they don't come out till like right at dusk. They'll come out and all night long and they'll eat that grass. Again, they don't kill it, they just eat it. The most effective way is to do the double treatment that I'm about to talk to you about because you also might have grubs. This is the time of year that you wanna be out there treating for grubs. Now grubs, if you have brown patches in your lawn, more than likely you might have grubs. So what you do is take a shovel and you cut a three-sided triangle, you roll that back and you look for grubs, they're usually one to three inches. And if you find grubs, you need to treat. Personally, because all my neighbors have grubs, had grubs on the other lawn, I would treat every single year, period. I would just assume that I had grubs. So at the same time, right now, I'm gonna kill my army worms and kill the grubs all in one, and I'll tell you how to do that. The first thing I do is I buy the granular killer, which is the double kill. I call it double kill, it's a do aside because it kills on top, and then it goes down, and that's the key, is you've gotta get this pesticide down into the soil where the grubs are, and that's the only way to do it. Next, what I like to do, the, I put down that granular, then I come out with a hose end bottle spray. I'll link to it here, and I'll go out and spray. Now, I'm gonna link to it on Amazon because you can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, but they usually sell out, and it's about the same price on Amazon, including delivery. So I'll link you to it. It's about 14 bucks a bottle. It's real effective. That stuff kills over 500 pests. It'll kill fleas, ticks, ants, all kinds of nasty stuff. And one of the reasons why I'm spraying it on the back of my yard is because we have so many deer come in to eat the corn and everything. I don't want those ticks coming into my yard for the dogs. So not only am I treating my lawn, but I'm also gonna treat behind my fence. And that's why I'm spraying over the fence, that back area where the deer constantly come in. I don't want those ticks coming into my yard. So that's the approach. Again, get the granular double kill, put down the granular, Go ahead, after, and at night, I want you to spray right at sunset, right at sunset, I want you to spray the lawn with the hose end bottle, leave it there overnight. You probably will come out in the morning and see, maybe 20 minutes later, if you go out there and look after you spray, you look real close, you'll see some army worms actually coming up and starting to freak out and starting to die. 
The next morning, if you want to run your irrigation system, you can run your irrigation system and start to push that down into the thatch and down into the soil. Remember, these things hide in the thatch and that's what you got to get to. The grubs are below the thatch and that's why you use a granular because the granular will work through the thatch into the soil. Got it? Now, what you may see is you may start to see a bunch of beetles. Let me put up a clip from Barb's yard uh, two years ago. She had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these beetles after I did an application. And those beetles are the beetles that actually go into the ground and start this whole life cycle of the grubs. So if you see a bunch of beetles, it's a good thing. If they come up and they're dying, it's a good thing. On the calendar, this is we show you guys that you have two times to treat, spring and then in the fall. But I actually like to start now where it's hot, it's humid, you're gonna get these army worms. And trust me, they come in via moths. So they have these little white and tan moths that come in and they lay hundreds of eggs. And so you'll have patches of these army worms. They won't be all over the yard usually. You usually have concentrations of them here, concentrations of them there. Now let's talk about fertilizers. What am I doing right now? Guys, it's hot and dry. I mean, we haven't had rain in almost two weeks and it's today it's gonna be 98 degrees. I am mainly putting down Dirt Booster Plus to, to treat my soil. I want to go, it's always said that good farmers don't grow plants, they grow soil because the soil grows the plants and that's why we put down Dirt Booster Plus. There's no nutrients in it. It's basically organic matter, biochar, mycorrhizal fungi, good microbes. Put down Dirt, dirt Booster Plus. It's nice and hot, it's nice and warm, it's humid, it's the perfect time for it. On the front out here, on this pond area, I'm using fast release only so I don't get runoff. I'm spraying super juice and then green chalker, and that's about it. On the back, I'm putting out PGF complete and I've got the new seedings on both of those. So let me, uh, let me grab the camera. I'll show you some updates on both of those and then I'll take you over, show you the land clearing and maybe run you up to the garden real quick, show you what's going on there. I'm kind of excited about this back area. You're gonna say, doc, that's ugly. Why are you excited? Because everything you see here is actually the old Bermuda that we planted. And this morning, last week we came out, we planted two different types of seed, that bent grass and then that mix. And this morning I saw my first tiny germination. This is gonna be great. We're gonna be able to cut this in a real mower. Now, one of the reasons why you wanna be on our email list is I have a special announcement for 2024, which will be available in 2023. And that's a new series of, of real mowers a whole line of, of mowers with new engines, new cutting heights, all kinds of stuff. Hit go over and get it, because I'm gonna send this out first to the people on the email list before I publish the video. So whoever's on the email list will sort of get access to that video first. So make sure you're on the email list. But uh, I'm excited about this. Let me pop over and I'll show you the land clearing and then uh, maybe I'll run you up to the garden real quick. So you can get a better grasp for what I'm doing here. Let me. Let me show you the full scope here. This area was just nasty. I mean, there was all kinds of trash and trees. We have scraped this, we have done a new seating. This is all brand new Bermuda. Next year, this is gonna look fabulous. But this patch over here was all solid woods and we couldn't see the pond. Our, our view stopped right there and this was all trees. So now they've come in and we actually had them not cut the trees, but actually remove the whole tree, including the root. It's a pretty amazing process. They actually come in here and push the trees over, grab the roots, shake them, drop them off, get the dirt out. And today, if you know what's been going on here, then right after that, we had a series of afternoon thunderstorms come in and this place turned into a mud pit. So finally, now that it's actually good that we're in a little bit of a drought because this is really, really dried up. So uh, one of the main guys came over today with a skid steer and he is now working this land and leveling this out. Matter of fact, he's sitting in the shade waiting for the dump truck. They're loading up all the debris over there. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna seed this with micro clover, some grasses. And then let me put up a picture of the, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a little studio, guest house, whatever, cabin pre-made over here. I'm gonna pop it over there. We're gonna put a little gravel road into it. That should be really cool. That that unit, if I get that unit, you custom order it and it's big. It's like a 16 by 30 and it's gonna spray foam all the walls, ceilings. It's gonna have a split mini inside of it, heating and cooling. Um, it, it's a really cool little thing and I think it would be really nice. 
this is the area that the the deer constantly come into back in here and uh, the deer ticks are what we're mainly concerned about not only for us but for the dog so I'm gonna treat the backyard even though I really don't have grass thick enough to have army worms but I do have all these little because I core aerated and it's wet it's humid I got all these little gnats um, but I'm gonna spray back over here basically create a barrier now this will also on the website below, I'll put up a list. <laughs> it's like 500, what is it? 500 listed insects. So if you have ants, fleas, ticks, cinch bugs, mosquitoes, if you need something that's, uh, that's really effective, it's easy, it's not that, and the link below is like 14 bucks a bottle, which is pretty reasonable. And it's easy, hook it up to a hose and spray it. Whew. Well, that's done. <laughs> so we're fairly well shaped in here. I've got to work on a few spots, but you know, we've got a lot of still small sticks and debris and roots and stuff. So hit that subscribe button because what I'm going to do is I got a skid steer coming uh, Tuesday afternoon. That's tomorrow afternoon. And I'll probably be on here two days working this down. I'll put some of it on video, but our goal is is to really smooth this out, get rid of any of the pockets that are in here. I need to create sort of a hump for a road over here. I want that to be a hump, so I'm gonna drag and make a hump. We'll gravel that road over here, and then I'll go ahead and I'll gravel, I'll flatten out, I'll gravel a patch over there so that uh, we get all this water to drain out of here. And I don't want it standing in here, but, man, what a difference, huh? From being thick, nasty woods to open it up and to be able to see that pond berm. So, check for army worms. If you have army worms, treat them and at the same time, might as well get grubs too. Talk to you later, doc.